As we get ready for this next example, let's talk about the limits at infinity. What this is saying is if the value approaches a unique number L as X increases, then that means as we're going off the screen to the right. As X approaches infinity, then we would have the limit approaching L. Uh, and so this is just telling you how to read it. And again, we saw this in lesson one, three. And uh, negative infinity you'll see quite often too. This is going to also be called the end behavior. So it says estimate the limit as X approaches infinity of one over X plus one plus one. One. Okay, so this is not looking for both sides. It's only looking for as you approach the right here, as we go further and further to the right. So x is approaching infinity as you go right. So what's happening as this graph goes off the screen to the right? The answer is it's getting really, really flat. Remember that kind of question we were asking ourselves, it's either going to go up forever, down forever, or come to a point or flat along a point or a number. In this case, it's flat, and the y value it's getting flat on is 1. So the limit of uh, 1 over x plus 1 as x approaches infinity would equal 1 here. Because that's the, that's the point I'm uh, uh, getting really flat on. The y value that I'm uh, getting flat on. Make that look more like an arrow. That still wasn't it. Let me try it one more time here. An arrow as we approach infinity. All right. And so now let's try this next one. So we change up the equation. We're now 1 over x cubed minus 1. And as I look at this limit, again, I'm going to the right. What's happening as I go right? Well, this graph is getting really flat along this horizontal asymptote that happens to be crossing the y-axis at negative 1. So the limit of, as x approaches infinity, of 1 over x cubed minus 1 would equal negative 1. Notice I don't have to test it from both the left and the right. When you're talking about as x goes to infinity, you're just saying what's happening is the graph goes basically off the screen to the right. So here's another one. And this time, I want you to look at this uh, oscillating graph. This oscillating graph is not converging on a point like example four. This one is not converging nor diverging. It's just staying two, between these two fixed values. So we're not going to be able to say where the limit's approaching because you could say, well, it's approaching one. Maybe it's approaching negative one. Uh, this here should be a negative one. Maybe it's approaching a zero or something in between. No, the answer is this limit of cosine as x approaches infinity does not exist. And I'm gonna say it does not exist since the oscillating, if I wanna make sure I spell this right here, oscillating values are fixed and they're fixed between just so you know what I'm talking about negative 1 and 1 okay so since the graph is going back and forth between 1 and negative 1 I would say this is uh, this limit does not exist so let me make sure you get that as the answer here it does not exist because of how it's oscillating. Let me come back over here. This graph, if I zoomed out, you'd see it's oscillating back and forth between those values forever and ever. Now, had I had it like one divided by X on here, and we were looking at the right side, then I would say this has uh, a, a a limit because these values are getting ever smaller and closer to the y-axis as we go. So that's just kind of a differentiation for you there. I'll let you try this one, a DOL number six.